head coach Christian Latencio. We will start with questions on site, and then if time allows, we will take some questions. Uh, good feeling, good feeling, and you know the penalties can go either way. But um, I thought that we compete very well against a very good uh, Mexican team with many good individual players, well organized. Um, so I'm very proud, very happy. We are happy. It's the second time we come here and we win on shootout, and. Um, yeah, no, there is a lot of there is a lot of positives in uh, in our game. Uh, we were a little bit tentative in certain moments. I thought I think that we have more in us when we have the ball to be a little bit more decisive in the last third. Uh, it's almost like we pay too much respect, uh, but it's part of the growing. It's part of the growth that uh, we are doing, and uh, in the end, I think. Uh, could have gone either way, but uh, you know, obviously, delighted with the win. So I think maybe we're taking away from the press. I wonder how much maybe the atmosphere also played in. It's a neutral site, but it's, it was a neutral. <laughs> it was a neutral. I mean, credit to the uh, they they brought a lot of supporters. It looked like to play away, but not just away, not in neutral, uh, home uh, Cruz Azul. Yeah, so again, that makes uh, me even more proud of the boys because the crowd, obviously, it was a good crowd. I want to give them credit. They were, they were behind their own team, obviously, uh, but uh, in a way that uh, you would expect. And um, I thought that... Uh, you know, they try. They gave them something extra to the to the team. We also had uh, some guys supporting us, and I want to thank everybody that show up and uh, supporting Charlotte FC. But uh, that uh, is another is another thing that makes me very proud because I know very well how the uh, the Mexican and the, generally speaking, the Latino community is very passionate about, about football and how much they they want to support their team and they support is one of the best uh, supporters in the, in the world is is that is that part of the world. Yeah. Um, well, it sounds like I see share, but it's you guys are we face uh, challenges from here. 105 degrees to start a game. They also did. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe now, more, maybe more. Okay. Probably more. Hosting Houston in that competition, you have to go to Houston. So, what what are the feelings to of you and your team to overcome all? Listen, disappointed, but it is what it is. We went, uh, I say that because. I already said it in the past. He would uh, also for our supporters because you know to see the team playing at home and uh, to give uh, their support to us is something that we would value a lot. We love that. We love to play for our supporters and to have and the you know our guys earn the right to do that. So it's not something that would have been given to us, uh, and so that makes me. Uh, disappointed, but it is what it is, and uh, we need to go to 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 do what we need to do. And that's why I'm very proud of our boys. Came here, didn't say anything. They just went on with that, and they already are ready to move again to Houston. and uh, And we will give our best as much as uh, as we can. Uh, we have uh, also Houston have one more day to recover, <laughs> just to add. <laughs> insult to injury but uh, yeah it's okay listen we go on and uh, we give our best shot well it's time for uh, some questions the first one is um, Dylan Butler please Dylan join us
Dylan, can you hear us now? Yeah, I got you. Hey, uh, Chris, congratulations on the on the win. Um, two two questions for you. One, um, Kalina, to to do what he did in in the PK shootout. Um, what did you think of that? How impressed were you? I suspect you weren't surprised. And 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 two, you know, for for still a a, a young team, a young club. Uh, how how big was this moment? One at a time. So Kale, I know his qualities. is is uh, a cold guy, and uh, you know, in those moments, he's 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 cold. He's passionate at the same time. Huh? But uh, in those moments, he can be really focused. And I want also to credit uh, Aaron, uh, our goalkeeping coach, that did a great job preparing him to studying the penalty takers of uh, Cruz Azul. So it's a, it's a work that they've done together. Uh, for us as a club to go far in this competition, to go as far as we are going at the moment, it makes uh, me, but everybody obviously proud because it is in itself to advance uh, is an achievement uh, with the uh, and we are facing also difficulties, and uh, but the guys take everything on on the chin, and I want to really compliment them publicly regarding the character because this is a group of guys that they never complain. They take everything on the chin and they move forward, and they're ready for every challenge that we put uh, them forward. We are growing. It's not something that. Uh, we have already we have we are building the mentality that we want to build it takes time as i said in the past and the nights like that uh, it's another step forward to where we want to be or a step up to say because i like to joke with them to use this climbing metaphor so i think we are climbing and we want to keep uh, climbing uh, and when you climb sometimes you can be scared of the heights but uh, our boys manage that very well tonight Thank you, coach. Now it's time from Sam Spencer. Please, Sam. Congratulations, coach. Uh, wonderful win tonight. Thank you. Sorry, did you Sorry. ask me a question? I didn't, I didn't get it. Yeah, no, no my, my question is, uh, can you talk more about how the, the heat affected uh, play tonight and um, what you're doing in... Uh, to prepare for for Houston, since obviously you'll be getting the same amount of uh, heat and uh, and harsh conditions for the team. Yeah, is uh, again uh, we want to play a game that uh, is aggressive and is difficult sometimes to play for a long time in uh, on the front foot to try to press the opposition in in these conditions. But I thought the boys minimize uh, the threat of Cruz Azul. Cruz Azul, I saw them. I know they didn't have maybe the best start of the season, but I thought against Miami, they deserve to be, they deserve a much better score line. And then after, you know, when you play against Messi, he can, he can find those kind of goals. He has done it at all, at all level, at the highest level in the world for many, many years or so. And he is... Uh, he can do it, of course, in in, in MLS and the, in our competitions. Uh, but I thought that they play well and at times better in Miami. Then they went to Atlanta and they gave them a very, very strong game. And so I thought that uh, we wanted to stop them. In these conditions, it wasn't easy. And uh, at times we suffered. And I think we will have the same challenge in Houston, where... We will play, I remember last year we went there and it was very, very hot. And we played even later than that. We played uh, eight o'clock, I think. And it was really, really, really warm. But listen, it, it is what it is again. And I don't want to start to talk about the weather now. And we just have to recover, get him ready for the next challenge and move on. Thank you, coach. Uh, it's time from Steve Goldberg. Please, Steve. Buonasera, Christian. Um, the Cruz Azul was a team that 
gave uh, Charlotte plenty of space to to operate, to make the passes through. But getting into that final third is where it seemed to break down, and it seemed to be less due to Cruz Azul than it was to just uh, lack of chemistry in the in the final third, save for that, uh, what, the 42nd minute, the uh, pass from Justin to Scott to Christian for a shot that was blocked, but that was the first real connectivity that uh, in the offensive third there, and then there seemed to be some more towards the end of, of regulation. Did you see it that way? And if so, what do you attribute that to? But I think the first thing is that uh, when we build uh, from the back, I think that uh, in a way the, the coach, uh, uh, Prof. Ferretti, that is uh, obviously very experienced uh, a coach, a tactician, um, that I respect a lot. Uh, you know, he, he put Moises Vieira on, uh, on Ash. And that, uh, for me, is a compliment that to our team because he changed the way of playing using a tactical move to accommodate the way we played. And that's for me, is already a compliment to the way the boys played because he thought that we could have created problems. Then after we, in the last third, it's true that we were a little bit, and that's about the respect I was talking in the first question because... I think we were going to good areas, but we were not uh, executing like we normally would do, like we have done against Necaxa with more fluidity. And, uh, and you know, that also uh, something that we need to improve because they were the same players and uh, they work together on a daily basis. Uh, and they know our movements is that we need to keep doing it and keep doing it with uh, with more precision. Uh, I agree with you. I think we should have been a little bit more fluid in the last third. And uh, this is something that we will uh, analyze and work on. But uh, the important thing is at least to get control of the game. And again, I thought that many of the chances that they had came from these counterattacks when we were not so tidy in the last third. And the last question is for Sergio Venegas. Thank you very much. This is Sergio Venegas from Mexico City, the Portrese.com. Com. Coach, congratulations on the victory. Could Thank you tell you. us what you say before the penalty round kicks to your players? Because they look so cool. secure to, to, to take him and just put it inside on the goalkeeper. And I wish you luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you very much. No, again, uh, Sergio, uh, listen, they have uh, very good players, uh, Cruz Azul, uh, but I know that my players, they we take a lot of penalties uh, during the week in general, as I said in the past, and uh, I just trust them. And then actually, you know, and I know that uh, Christian is a good goalkeeper. The, the one thing that we say to the players is uh, take a deep breath and then just pick one spot and go for it. In the end, they go on the penalty spot and they, you know, you don't want to put too many thoughts in the head. There is a moment in which there is already pressure. And uh, I think uh, there is, a, you know, honestly, there is not a lot that you can say. Uh, you just trust them uh, in that moment. And we try to play and we try to give the penalties to the guys that we think that uh, are going to give us the best chance to to win the game. And then after, you know, uh, it's there is an element, there, are, there is an element of luck as well, but, uh, but also an element of keeping the head, um, you know, really grounded because, again, we had uh, a lot of support <laughs> against or Cruz Azul had the, the support for, and that is not easy in those moments. Thank you, coach. That's all. Thank you. And thank you for your coverage and support to the Lakes Cup. Gracias por su cobertura y apoyo al Lakes Cup. Buenas noches a todos.